Hey, this is Dr. Wes Fryer, and today is August the 21st, 2020. I want to do a quick tutorial to show students how you can log in to your Write About blog account for the first time. And I'm creating this for a couple other teachers who are here at our school this year using Write About. Uh, but if this is of interest to others, that is great. So I have gone to the website writeabout.com, and I'm going to go ahead and click Sign In. And it's going to ask you first, are you a student or an educator? So you're going to click student. And then we are at, at our school using Google. So you're going to click sign in with Google. And then it may actually prompt for this again. You are going to want to type in your teacher's um, code that they have provided for you. And then you're going to be registering as a student. So without that code, um, it's not going to let you in. But once you've done that, now you are registered um, with that teacher. Now the teacher is going to need to add you to a class so when you click write a post you're going to be able to write it. You can add an image. If it asks you to use your microphone you can allow that because you can even do audio recordings here. But you can add images and you're going to need to put a title and of course write your post here and then when you click publish um, it will eventually let you send it to your class, but you can either publish it to your teacher, your class, or public. Um, I'm encouraging my students, as they're comfortable, to go ahead and write it publicly because one of the things we're going to try to do is get different classes and students to comment and be able to give feedback. And if you do that, then um, other people are going to be able to see your post and potentially leave you comments and leave you feedback. All right. So that is basically it. Make sure you either click save as a draft or you publish it because unlike a Google Doc, which always saves immediately, you have to click, I think, save as a draft or publish in order for your post to be saved. But that is how you're going to be able to write posts. Um, when you send this in, your teacher will have to approve it and they'll also have to approve comments. Um, you're going to be able to see other posts that are written by people in your class when you click on posts. And here you can see in this tab, um, this is pretty cool. Um, and hopefully this will work as far as being able to see other um, once we connect our, our accounts at our school, um, you'll be able to see what other, other students here at Cassidy and other grades. We have this year 6th graders, 7th graders, and I think there will be some 10th graders uh, that are going to also be writing. And so when you go to community, this is where you can see things that are outside of Cassidy and um, you're going to be able to view categories of things that people have written about, hobbies, creativity, um, and you'll be able to see those kinds of things that are from other people that are not even part of our school, but they're other students that are using Write About. So last thing I'll say is a little orientation is when you go to ideas, uh, your teacher can assign these to you, but there's all kinds of ideas for writing, things that you can write about. Uh, if I choose, you know, uh, creativity here. Um, these are all prompts that are going to encourage me to think creatively and write a creative post. And so you can select one of these and click write about and then it's going to you know, give you that prompt as an idea. So I hope that is helpful to you. I look forward to seeing the posts that you're going to write this year on write about.